Hello and welcome to the 2020 MySwimPro State of the Company. My name is Ferris Savetti, co-founder and CEO of MySwimPro, and today I'm going to share with you a presentation I gave to the team about just a couple of weeks ago on where we're at as a company moving forward in 2020 and beyond. This is really exciting because this is the first time I do it in a vlog format. And I'll walk through the presentation slide by slide just as I did with the team. Of course, this will be a trimmed version. I won't be sharing 100% of our financial details or any of the other intricacies of the company, but I'll be sharing about 97, 98% to give you a true idea of where we're at. And if you're joining as an investor, a community member, a supporter, or if you have stumbled across this video because it's publicly on the web, welcome. We thank you for your support and interest in what we're doing at My Swim Pro. So we are a distributed company, meaning we have team members spread out over 10 time zones. We speak nine languages collectively as a team. And so because of that, we did this through a video hangout. So we get to see everyone's face as a little corner of the screen and everyone can see the presentation. And the first thing I did was I asked all of our team members, regardless of your role, whether you're on the engineering development side, product side, or you're a member of the marketing team, think about how many interactions you have with members of our community on a daily basis on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. And these communications can be anything from an email exchange, liking something on social media. We have a private Facebook group for all of our community members. Maybe it's an interaction in there. And just think about how many interactions you've had in a week. And then I ask each team member, how many interactions you have in a month? Maybe you have 30 interactions in a week, 100 interactions in a month. And maybe over the course of a year, you might have 500 interactions. And just think about all of the different gold medal moments and inspirational stories that we've heard from members of our community. And then think about how incredible these stories are. And they are just one of millions. We have well over 1 million community members across 180 different countries. So to, to see that kind of impact you know, formulate on an individual basis and just to know that there are countless other stories that we don't even hear about because the scale of the company that we have now developed is at a point now where you know it's incredible to see these stories but just know that there's so many more so that's how i wanted to set the tone and i wanted to give a feel of the presentation that you know how did we get here where are we now and where are we going in 2020 and beyond and i gave some more context as to the timeline of this presentation. I know we'll talk about the Golden Circle. We talked about 2019, the year in review. I had a bit of a surprise for the team that they weren't really expecting. Then we talked about 2020 KPI goals, and of course our BHAGs, our big, hairy, audacious goals for the company for 2020 and for the future, long-term horizon. And I started with the Golden Circle, and if you're not familiar, the Golden Circle is something that was really popularized by a keynote uh, at TEDx that Simon Sinek did. And the idea is that there are things that separate high-performing organizations, companies, leaders. There's a difference in the way that they operate compared to the general population. And when you try and break down how do these companies and these leaders operate at such a higher performance and how do they operate more efficiently, better, inspire others to do more and, and achieve better than other people and organizations, it comes back to why. A lot of companies, they talk about what they do, but they sort of miss the point on why they do what they do. And I wanted to start our 2020 state of the company by discussing why we at MySwimPro do what we do. So when we talk about the golden circle, it's very easy to describe what we do. At MySwimPro, we create mobile and wearable apps that help people improve their performance and health. It's pretty simple. We make apps. It's not that complicated. So how do we do that? How do we help people improve you know, their performance and health? Now it gets a little bit more in depth. Well, these apps guide our community members through structured training plans, workout by workout, there's analytics, there's instructional video content, and people learn through these videos, they learn through these workouts, and we sync with wearable devices, but you don't need a wearable device to use our application and to engage with our community. So that's what we do and how we do but that's just the surface still. We need to get down to the root of the why. Why does this company exist? Why do we do what we do? And the reason why we do all of this is that because we believe that through the intersection of technology 
and swimming that we can empower our community members to lead happier and healthier lives. And we acknowledge the diversity of our community members' goals and we understand that it is our responsibility to help guide our community members to reach their individual gold medal moments. Now, gold medal moments can be anything from losing weight, crossing the finish line at your very first triathlon, whatever goal that a community member has set for themselves, or maybe they have collectively come up with their goal from the support of our community members. Whatever their goal is, it is our responsibility to empower our community members to achieve that goal. And once we have a great establishment of the why the company exists, why we do what we do, then, only then, we can move to how do we do this and what are we actually doing. So I really wanted to set the tone and really focus in on the why. And when we talk about whose responsibility is it to do all of this, it's our responsibility. It is the team. When you join our company, it is your responsibility to take that on your shoulders that we have a duty to empower. Now, this is a screenshot for, uh, of our team members that I mentioned. We're across 10 time zones. Really, really exciting. Next up, we're going to talk about the 2019 year in review. Cue video. <laughs> As you can see, there was a lot to be excited about in 2019. We grew out our team. We added a few team members in areas that we were needing support. We added Max in February, who's an iOS engineer. We added Jenk, who's taking over the back end. We added Charlie, who's managing our community, our social media. We have Lorenzo, who's making all these awesome videos as our digital media producer. And as you can see, in 2018, our team was about half of what it is today. There's Paige, Ben, myself, Adam, and Mike in Indianapolis at the 2018 US Masters National Championships. And then if you fast forward just about a year later, this is the team in Mallorca, Spain at the company's annual international retreat. We're looking pretty swagged out and we're having a good time.
if we look at in 2019, all the different product things that we were able to do, on the product side, we were able to internationalize and now the app is available in nine languages. We did some security updates that were needed on our back end. We did a redesign. The app actually looks a lot different now than it does six months ago or even a year ago. We added seven new training plans. We have what's called adaptive dynamic interval training, which means if you're swimming with a smartwatch like an Apple Watch or a Garmin, the app will automatically pick up on how fast you're swimming and make recommendations in the app after you swim on how you can improve your interval training so that the workouts are more personalized for you. That's one of my favorite uh, features that we came up with in 2019. We also did some performance improvements, made some back-end changes to make things easier for our team, DevOps, all that good stuff. We changed uh, the subscription management system, which allows our community members to be able to use MySwimPro on their iPhone on their Android, if, if they have an Android and an iPad, they can do all of that and it's very, very easy. So everything, whether it's on the back end or the front end, to help deliver value to our community members. We also created a new social screen. So that's what you see here on the screenshot. And this is so that people can share on social media. They're doing these amazing things in the pool. We wanna reward them and show them off on social media so they can empower others to follow suit what they're doing. We also added challenges and achievements. These are really fun gamification tools to the application that make it much more compelling and exciting for people to join the community. And of course, there's World Swim Day, an international holiday to empower people around the world to be active in the water. Cue video. all the things we did on the product in 2019. Oh wait, but there's more. We launched a new app called My Tri Pro, delivering a personalized training program for people who don't have a personal coach for triathlon, whether you're doing a sprint, Olympic, half Ironman, full Ironman, let's put that on a calendar and help you achieve your ultimate goal. From a branding perspective, well, we've built out an awesome content machine. The videos that I just showed you are a prime example of the community and the video content, whether it's educational or promotional. We have a ton of awesome branding out in the community and you can see it just by Google searching my swim pro world swim day, hashtag any of those hashtags from smarter, my swim pro will pop up. We've grown our global ambassadors. We have over 50 ambassadors in 18 different countries. We have an awesome digital community in that Facebook group. And of course, we've been able to have awesome social media collaborations with different brands that are leading the space, both in swimming and health and fitness. And of course, we have been able to be featured in Men's Health, Pop Sugar, Cult of Mac. Adam and I were recognized as the Forbes 30 under 30 for 2020. What an incredible offer. And I have customer service tickets. We had over 5,000 tickets. Now, not all of these are technical bugs or anything like that, but these are people asking questions that we can help them with. How do I improve some element of my training? What training program do you recommend for me? And we've been able to communicate these different needs to the rest of our team and we're using this feedback to improve the product but also strengthen our community. And this is one of my favorite screenshots of the presentation. This is all of our ambassadors, well half of them actually, for our Q4 digital meetup. So we had 16 different time zones represented in this photo. Um, it's awesome to see all the MySwimPro swag represented in like 20 different languages here. Pretty, pretty awesome. And we were also named App of the Day in the middle of the year, which is pretty awesome. This is from September 21. MySwimPro getting a lot of traction in the community. And a little bit later, we pass 1 million downloads. That's right, over 1 million people have downloaded the MySwimPro app. Q video. <laughs> Q 
awesome to see a huge community starting to develop. We are now in the seven figures territory of app downloads, which is now in a, in a select crew. You know we're going for that 10 million mark next. From a finance perspective, we raise close to half a million dollars through equity crowdfunding. Thank you so much if you're one of our investors for supporting, believing, and backing with your dollars our mission of empowering aquatic pro S across the world. We now have over 300 investors across 36 different countries. So thank you so much for your financial support. If we take a look at 2019 overall and we look at all the strengths and weaknesses and where we are financially as a company, I use the feedback from all of my one-on-ones with all the team members to formulate where we think we are in each of these three domains. From a company's strength perspective, we believe that we have an outstanding team that is a true believer in our mission. Everyone uses the product. We have very good industry expertise. We have great communication, transparency. I like to amplify the element of transparency and over communication in something like this. Having a publicly accessible state of the company where I'm only taking out maybe 2% of the information. So I really want to be transparent and focus on improving our processes so that the company can continue to develop and grow. As a uh, obviously, there's weaknesses and things that we can improve. And what we can focus on for 2020 and as we move forward is personalizing the product offering to really tailor to the unique personas that we have in our community. For example, we know that there are swimmers who are trying to lose weight that have zero swimming experience. And we know in our community that we have members who have already done the English Channel and are looking to push themselves to the next level. We want to be able to deliver an experience that is even more personalized than it already is. And this is an area that we believe will continue to improve over time. We also believe that using data to make these decisions and how we can deliver that personalized experience is hugely important and an area that we're not doing as well as we'd like to. And finally, we want to be able to educate the community members of the core value proposition. Some of the features that we have in the application and the experience is not fully realized because some of the community members just don't know how to, how to do certain things with the app. And it is our job and our responsibility to be able to deliver that kind of value and that education so that people can get the most out of our product offering. And as a financial position, we actually finished, finished the year uh, profitable in 2019 like we did in 2018. We're about in a break-even position and we have more cash in the bank than ever in the history of the company. And the way we've raised capital so far, uh, no outside investor owns any percentage of the company yet because all of our financial investment came in the form of safes. Simple agreement for future equity. So between myself, the other founders, all of our team members have equity positions in the company along with some advisors and no one else has any uh, say in the company at this point right now. So we have full control of our destiny. That concludes the 2019 review. Let's take a look at 2020. Oh wait, there's a surprise. Now, as a growing company, obviously process changes, team members change, roles change, and to accommodate for this change and this growth, we have decided to recognize one of our team members by giving them a promotion, and this individual has stepped up above and beyond, continues to evolve, help the company grow, and today, well, it already happened, but today in this video, I am excited to share that Paige Walters has been promoted from our marketing director to our vice president of marketing. Woo! You might be wondering, what does that mean? Who is Paige? Paige came in in January of 2018, so about two years since this state of the company address at the time that she joined. We had a little over 1,700 subscribers, only 45 people subscribed on the web. Uh, I won't share the full numbers today here in this video, but we are multiple times larger than that. We had zero team members uh, in marketing. I was doing all the marketing. Paige came in and joined the fun. We had no ambassador. She started the ambassador program. And so now she is the vice president of marketing, building out a marketing team that will work alongside her in addition to taking on more managerial responsibilities that some of them I had, but her to develop as a lead VP of marketing. So congratulations to Paige. And when we think about 2020, what is next? So we promoted Paige, that's great. What are we gonna do as a business? And I think our number one priority that I shared with the team is to focus on the app experience. Now this is something that we've never really not focused on, but I'm really putting an emphasis on a few different elements of this. And when we focus on the app experience, what does that mean? That really means fulfilling that responsibility that we have to fulfill with our community members so that we can deliver the maximum value proposition possible, meaning we set a promise to ourselves that we need to help people reach their goals. 
How is the application doing that? And what are the data-driven metrics telling us on how we can help more people realize the full value of the application? So obviously, that means increasing the number of people who are using it on a monthly active basis, increasing the number of paying subscribers that we have, and doing everything possible to make sure people realize the value and stick with it and stick with their training plans, stick with the app, and continue to use the product. Now, the second point is executing a brand strategy that supports the first one, meaning it is our job on the marketing side to educate, entertain, and inspire people in our community about what we're all about so that they can reach their gold medal moments and inspire others to reach their gold medal moments. This also means realizing the value of the application through all the different educational content that we have about the app so that we can support number one, which is focusing on the app experience. And thirdly, is to leverage the brand of My Swim Pro to form more partnerships and drive more revenue, diversifying our revenue. We have an awesome media arm, and it's a matter of time before we can really leverage this to diversify our revenue and strengthen our community even further. And I want to talk about our growth potential. So as a company, a lot of people talk about, you know, how many swimmers can you really reach? You know, how big is the potential for your company? And I really emphasize to our team that this is a massive market that we are just scratching the surface in. The big green circle here is the global market size for swimming, right? This is over 100 million people. How did I come up with this number? Well, the red is the United States. And we know that there are 26 million people or more who swim for fitness in the United States. And there's over 9 million people who swim more than 50 times per year. So that red circle represents about 10 million people and the global market is 10 times the size of that. Now in the United States, we have just over half a million downloads. Overall, we have over a million downloads. So from a market share perspective, a little bit over 5% market share in the United States. That is assuming that everyone who has downloaded our application is a hardcore swimmer. But we know that's certainly not the case. A lot of people just download the app because they think it's awesome or they're a more casual swimmer. So we believe that there's a very large market potential within our existing demographic of more serious swimmers, but also the more recreational swimmers who wanna pick it up for fitness and maybe they've never swam before in their life. So there is a lot of potential for our company. And if we think about our roadmap, where are we going next? How are we gonna use all this information, all these learnings in 2019 and all the years prior? And how are we gonna apply them to the 2020 roadmap? In a few different areas. Let's talk about the team. We actually just hired a new product manager, Gabor. He lives in the United Kingdom, originally from Hungary, and he comes in with a ton of product experience. He uses the My Swim Pro app, training for triathlon, and he's gonna come in and help us improve our process, improve our product so that we can deliver on the value proposition that we have and our responsibility to our community members. We're also looking to fill a marketing manager position who, hint, hint, is about to join in just a couple of weeks, and we'll be looking at another product team member. We're thinking an engineer in some capacity at some point later in the year. And from the branding perspective, it's to continue building out our brand, our content machine, and to deliver to our community members the educational content, the entertaining content, and the inspirational videos and articles and stories that help people achieve their goals. From a financing perspective, we are not planning on raising additional capital in 2019. Of course, this could change based on different scenarios of the business, strategic opportunities, and anything that might pop up in the future. And I wanna come back to the golden circle because the golden circle is all about why you do what you do, and everyone on our team believes what we believe collectively, which is that we have a responsibility to empower people to reach their personal health and fitness goals. And the how we do that is through these different mobile apps, through these training programs that deliver this personalized coaching experience. And of course, what do we do as a company? We deliver that value through mobile apps, wearable apps. At this point in the presentation, I brought it back to our mantra, empower human potential, right? Our mission is to empower aquatic prowess and swimming, is to empower people to do triathlon on the triathlon side of things. And overall, our three word mantra, as simple as it is, Guy Kawasaki gets the plug, it is to empower human potential. And our vision is to become the leading endurance sports brand in the world that is empowering people to reach their personal fitness and performance goals in swimming and triathlon. And of course, we have our goals and our goals are to champion the mantra, what we just talked about, empowering human potential to live and breathe through that mission. Have a hustle mindset, right? You've got to, you've got to, it's a startup. You've got to put on multiple hats, put in the grind, 
make it happen, put in the work. And of course, we default to transparency. This video is a prime example of that. All the content that you see, the open public offering that we did through WeFunder earlier in the year and in 2017. We have a passion for our craft, whether you're an engineer, you love to code whatever it is that you're coding. If you're on the marketing side, you love creating these videos, writing these articles. And of course, we love the diversity in perspective. Like I mentioned, our team right now is spread out over 10 time zones. We speak nine languages. And our team's not that big. It's not like we have 500 people that are speaking nine languages. Almost everyone on the team can speak another language. All that to say we have different cultural backgrounds and experiences that come together to help us build this global community. And from a five-year goal perspective, we are to establish ourselves as the leading technology and media company in the space. These are a look at some of our bigger KPI goals that we have past 2020, but in a few years from now, uh, looking to grow the company significantly about five times where we are today by the number of people that we have. And I want to conclude with our big, hairy, audacious goals. The BHAGs are my favorite. This is like our 10-year roadmap. Where do we want to be? What are these outrageous goals that if people hear them on the street, they might think you guys are crazy to try and hit these numbers. But you know what? We are crazy and we are going to hit these numbers. So the first one is to empower humanity to swim over 1 billion workouts by 2030. So we have less than 10 years to get to 1 billion workouts. Uh, where are we at today? We're not at a billion workouts. We have a lot of work to do, but we're going to get there. From the triathlon side of things, it is to inspire, motivate, and train over 1 million people to compete a triathlon uh, by 2030. Therefore, you've got to go and sign up for a triathlon, and my swim pro, my tri pro, we're going to help you get there. For World Swim Day, it is to empower over 10 million people to swim on World Swim Day, which will be October 26, 2030. In the first two years of World Swim Day, check it out, worldswimday.org. Learn more about it here in the description below. This is an incredible opportunity for our brand, but for humanity to be empowered to go swimming. This is one of the best forms of fitness for your body in the world. Not only that, there's a huge epidemic of people who don't know how to swim. We want to address both of these, and at this scale, this will be truly impactful for people all over the world. And who is going to make all of this happen? It is us. It is the team of all of us collectively putting our brains, our passions, and our hearts together to make all of this happen. But we're not alone because it is truly a global community of people all over the world. And we have a team of awesome ambassadors. So thank you so much. And thank you for joining the first My Swim Pro state of the company that we are holding publicly. How awesome is this? But wait, there's one more thing. A certain team member has stepped up above and beyond, and in discussing with each individual team member, we decided to recognize this individual for their hard work, for continuing to self-improve, self-develop, improve their passion for the craft, and connect with our community members to help them achieve their goals. And we decided to come up with an MVP award for the company. So the MVP of My Swim Pro announced here at the 2020 State of the Company is, drum roll, Charlie Brown. Charlie has done an outstanding job as our community champion, connecting with our community members. Um, but we do say that, you know, we have a minimum vacation policy here at the company. We are going to reward Charlie Brown and his new fiance with an all expense paid trip to New York City. New York City, here you come. Charlie Brown, so proud of you for all the outstanding work that you have done. You're an inspiration to all of our community members and our team. And with that, now I can conclude the official My Swim Pro 2020 State of the Company Address. If you enjoyed this presentation, make sure you give it some love by giving it a like. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments or you can reach out to me directly. I'll leave my email in the description. I'll also put it up here somewhere, ferris at myswimpro.com. Feel free to reach out. If you're interested in joining our team, also be sure to let me know and where you heard about us right here on this YouTube uh, video online. Thank you again, and we wish you all the best in 2020 and beyond. Happy swimming. Hola! Welcome to Mallorca, Spain. We are at the 2019 Team Retreat. We are so thankful to have you a part of our community, and we wanted to introduce you to the team. We're all swimmers working to help our community members around the world. So I'll go first. My name is Ferris Sabati, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro. I'm from Gross Point Farms, Michigan, and my favorite part about swimming is the feeling of weightlessness you have 
in the water. Hey, I'm Adam Oxner. I'm CTO and co-founder at MySwimPro. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And my favorite thing about the water is how meditative and quiet it is when it's just you and the water. Hi, I'm Michael Lon. I'm a co-founder and software engineer at MySwimPro. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and my favorite thing about swimming is just how much you can improve by improving your technique. I'm Benjamin Hendricks. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, my favorite part, oh no, and my <laughs> role is a software engineer at MySwimPro. And uh, my favorite part about swimming is the gliding feeling you get when you're really crude at different stuff. Hello, I'm Cenk Erdes. I'm a software engineer at MySwimPro. I'm from Istanbul, Turkey, and my favorite part about swimming is how you get in shape and stay fit with swimming. I'm Max, I'm from Ukraine, and I'm a software engineer at MySwimPro, and my favorite thing about swimming is the best stress reducer for me. Hi, I'm Lorenza, I live in Guadalajara, Mexico, and I am the media developer at MySwimPro. Uh, my favorite part of our swimming is the connection between the mind and the body. When you're swimming, you can like get all your thoughts away. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie Brown. I'm the community champion for my swim pro, and I'm from Austin, Texas. My favorite thing about swimming is the amazing uh, wellness that you get from it, and just the great feeling you get after a workout. Hi, my name is Paige. I'm the marketing director at my swim pro, and what I love about swimming is just being outside, enjoying the the sunshine and the birds, whether you're swimming open water or at the pool. I love trying new things, uh, whatever I'm doing in the water. So you've met the team, a whole bunch of swimmers Ooh. from all over all right. the world. Yeah. Uh, so now we're gonna share our favorite part about working at my swim pro. And for me, it's to work with such intelligent, smart people from all over the world who bring a diversity of perspective to help our global audience. My favorite part about working at MySwimPro is the, the connection between technology and swimming and being able to help people get uh, healthier and improve their lives through technology. My favorite part of working at MySwimPro is to see all the gold medal moments every day that we see from our customers who are just like improving so much and getting PRs and you know. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of being at my swim pro is being able to work on a product that I love to use and that I use first and build later, so it's really fun. And my favorite part about working at my swim pro is working with swimmers to improve other people's and other swimmers' lives. My favorite part of working at my swim pro is doing the best product which helps to people be better every day. So my favorite part is actually the team working with all these passionate people about swimming and also helping others to get better at swimming. My favorite part about working for my swim pro is being able to connect with swimmers around the entire world. I love my swim pro because we get to hear and share stories of swimmers all over the world that are reaching their goals and getting faster or getting healthier. So tag us in your stories and We'll share them. Hashtag MySwimPro. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the MySwimPro team. Peacing out from Mallorca, Spain at our team retreat. Bye! Bye! Bye.